If you don't know, now you know you are on the Freak Show with your host is the most big daddy, bam bam, aka that chicken wing. Today, we're going to talk about how to use them old cell phones as security cameras for free. So stay tuned, don't get lost, because we'll be right back. Yeah, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, we're going to use the old Android, just old cell phones, anything the better the cell phone is, really, the better it is. What you're going to need, you're going to need some old cell phones, you're going to need an app, you're going to need your new phone or whatever you want to watch the video on, right, and you're going to need a power supply, aka a charger for your phone. Okay, so let's get started. And the cell phones are pretty decent. This is on my porch looking out over my driveway. That way if somebody pulls in while I'm sitting here doing this or that, I can see them pull in. Yeah. So anyway, what we're going to need here, what we're going to need, like I said, as you can tell, it's actually live. It's streamed. Um, instead of recording and stuff, it's streamed. You can hook this up to record, just like I'm recording now. Uh, there's different programs, you know, for recording. Uh, there's also a web page for this. Uh, the web page, you can use any, any, you know, your phone or whatever you need to use. Uh, and what you'll do is you'll go to the web page and you enter the IP address of the camera and it pops this up. Or you can just do the screen like I do. You can control from there. And if you look on the screen real close and dandy, let me blow this up. Yeah. Okay. And it does have motion sensors. Uh, it has sensors. They'll tell you different things. That phone I'm using. Like I said, you can use any Android phone. Uh, I haven't checked with iPhones yet. But anyway, as you can tell, if you go to this website and once you get everything set up and you can use the video LAN, the mango angel cam even this pro by the pro edition you'll hook into a dvr video coders ip cameras whatever yeah uh, so like i said you set up motion where it only comes on with motion yeah you use the tablet or the iphone anything you just go in put the ip address and the port in there and pow there you go there you go. Yeah, and like I said, it's Camo live stream. You can get it from the Android store. Boom. Yeah, let's go get it from the Android store. Camo. I guess I could have done a better job at uh, that part. <laughs> Camo. There you go. Camo. Anyway, once you download to your app, you'll go into it. Uh, once you go into it, it's pretty straightforward. It'll pop up the information and give you the IP address. It'll be like 192.168. whatever. And then you just take that address, point your browser at it or whatever software you want to use, and pam, there you go. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. As you can tell. And I just leave that one plugged in. That way, somebody comes on and honks. I can just turn it on and pow. There you go. I've got it plugged into OBS right now. Uh, it's pretty easy. Everybody asks me how you do it. There you go. It's that simple. Download it. Once you download the program, you can go on YouTube and there is tons of walks through how to set it up, how to use it. But it's pretty simple. Download the program, start it up. Go to a web browser for your tablet, your computer, whatever. Put in the 192.168.1. Whatever. Colon port 8080. And there you go. So it'll be something. Let's see. I'll do. It. I'll show you. That way you know what I'm talking about. Boom. Okay. 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 So what you'll do when you go to Camon. You'll have something like uh oh, hang on. Yeah, I should have done all this for you. 
So yeah, you'll have something like that. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. That'll be your local network. And if you do your IP address outside the house, like say you away from home and you got this set up, instead of that, you'll have to go to whatismyip.com, get your IP address, put your IP address there, colon eighty eighty. Eighty eighty is the port. The colon just tells it, okay, this is the address, and the colon says whatever's after this is the port. So yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what mine actually is, but this right here will be what you need. And then once you enter that, it'll come up. It will come up with this little booger. How? And if you right click on it, you can hit copy image address. And then you can just plug that image address directly into yeah, directly into your browser or your tablet or whatever and how hide your little phone, nanny cam it, or use it like a doorbell like I do. Uh, you could very simply put it in a box or put it behind, you know, it would do a box, put it behind, you know, some framework, drill a little hole just big enough for the camera to fit through and how there you go. I mean, if you want to get technical, yeah. That's a whole lot easier to run and wire stuff and you can see the picture ain't that bad. I mean, it really, it really, really ain't that bad. Um, if you go right here, get out of here for a minute. If you go right here, boom. And as you can tell, that picture ain't that bad. I mean, there's nothing moving around out there. You can see the little bit of shadows moving. But for a cheap security system, with all you need to know is download the app, pull it to the power source, turn the camera on, aim it where you want it, and go to your browser, your tablet, or your phone, put in the address. Oh, there you go. And you can do multiple ones. Depending on how you want to do this, you can download OBS like I do and set them all up there and stream them, stream a live stream to YouTube and be able to go to the YouTube channel and watch all your cameras. Or just do the web page. Yeah. So, or you can build a HTML server and Apache HTML server and put all that on there. There you go. That's simple, man. So, anyway, like I said, got any questions, leave me some comments. Shoot me a, a message on here. Uh, look us up on Facebook. FreakNet. Uh, I walk through it. It's not hard. It's probably the simplest way I've seen to do security cameras. And all you need, you don't even need, really need an internet connection. You're just going to do it around your house. You can do it with just a router. Once you set the router up, the IP table will pick up, connect, connect the phone to your local internet, pick up an IP. That's a little bit more complicated, but it's still, you know, it is what it is. Once it hooks to the router, you can, you know, the local network. So anyway, until next time, I guess I will bid you a fair ado. Like I said, the host is the most. Big Daddy Bam Bam, a.k.a. That Chicken Wing. See you next time. Like and subscribe to so you can get free going. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are